Hi guys. Okay, uh, module one. Can't think of a better place to begin. Security threats and risk. Uh, obviously, <laughs> this is going to be where it starts. Uh, we're going to get um, dive right into this. We're going to get into um, some of the different things that we need to know. This is going to be some of the risk assessment basics. Uh, we, we need to build that foundation for the um, risk assessment manage, or the risk management programs and threat uh, threat uh, analysis. Um, not overly complicated. Uh, you're going to hear some terms that may make you scratch your head, but hey, we're a learning and growing organization, so that's what we're here to do. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Uh, hit me up. Uh, we got the YouTube. Our correction. We got. Um, uh, we got text messages. We got emails. We got phone calls. We got everything. Uh, just hit me up. I will get back to you. I promise. So I'm a firm believer that the only silly question was the one that wasn't asked. Now, that being said, um, we're going to do a couple things real quick. Uh, we're going to go over some of our learning objectives. Uh, we're going to uh, cover a few little um, housekeeping items. Uh, basically, what it is, uh, risk is to a business or to an organization can come in many forms. It could be natural disasters. It could be man-made disasters. It could be any number of things. Uh, the problem where things get complicated is that risk is really an overarching uh, concept. Uh, going back to what we were saying a minute ago, anything could be a risk. Uh, it could be a natural disaster. It could be uh, Superstorm Standy. It could be... Um, Hurricane Katrina, it could be wildfires in California, it could be any number of things, uh, earthquakes, blizzards, those are all our natural disasters. Uh, something else we got to look at, we got to look at these man-made disasters. So each risk uh, from a man-made disaster could be obviously just as significant. Uh, we can think of things like uh, uh, things that go bang and boom, as I like to say. Uh, it could be a bombing, it could be an active shooter, it could be any number of things. Uh, we got to pay attention to those. So uh, also it could be down to the... the 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 possibly the employees that you work for or correction work with it could be an employee theft it could be some sort of espionage it could be some sort of cyber threat it could be hacking it could be any number of things so that that's what we got to look at uh we're going to look at it from a security standpoint obviously um so we're going to kind of float around a little bit uh by the end of this module you're going to be able to uh define fundamental expressions of security risk uh you're going to describe security risk models and security risk mitigation you're going to find your professor really likes the word mitigation. Make no, make no distinction or make a distinction between mitigation and prevention. Mitigation is something totally different. Prevention is one thing, mitigation is something else. But we're going to cover more into that. Please keep in mind, uh, we got a couple things that we're going to look at and it's going to kind of give us that base knowledge, that foundation. So we'll be ready to go. Okay. Module 1 checklist is going to be pretty straightforward. I want you to read uh, Chapter 1 in the Metrics and Methods for Security Management. That's going to give you that base knowledge. Uh, you're going to watch the video by your awesome professor, me. And you're also going to um, go through the basic concepts of risk assessment. Like I said, we've got to have that base knowledge, that base foundation to see how things work. Um, got a couple of YouTube videos in there uh, that's going to involve a uh, USC professor that was murdered by one of the students. So we want to look at that. What could have been seen? What could have been gleaned from interacting with the student? What can we know? How can we look at these things? So we've got to pay attention to stuff like that. Um, you're going to find that you have threat, uh, questions, discussion questions on a regular basis. So as a matter of fact, you're going to have one every module. That said, discussion questions are important because I want to see you guys talking to each other. I want to be involved with these conversations. I, I like these these round table discussion questions because everybody gets a chance to be involved. Everybody's got to uh, say so. Uh, so speak your piece. So say what's on your mind. I, we're we're going to sit through it. If, if there's an agreement or a disagreement, we'll work through that. But that, that's... That's not going to be too much to deal with, and that's going to be going to be something that is going to cause anybody heartache. It's, it's very straightforward. Uh, <clears throat> at the end of this course on Module One, we're going to have a um, discussion, a uh, Zoom discussion, or uh, video teleconference, however you guys want to call it. And basically, again, was, we're just going to kind of bounce things off. Uh, I'm going to want to know what you're thinking. I, I think the interactive part is very important. Uh, we got to talk to each other. Uh, so I think the conferences, the video conferences are going to be a, a good a good tool because that gives everybody that, that is in the course, it, it basically puts a name on the face. So I, I think that helps out a lot. Uh, aside from that, I don't see any glaring issues. Uh, I think we're going to work well together. I like to think we're going to work well together. So I'm kind of excited about this. Okay, uh, but, uh, risk assessment basics. The concepts of risk, of threat and risk are different and kind of interrelated. Uh, the risk associated with a threat represents uh, its defining attributes. So that said, 
you got to know what threat you're dealing with. You got to you got to conduct analysis of the threats. What are my threats? Uh, going back to what we we're talking about earlier, it could be man-made, it could be a natural disaster, it could be something along those lines. There's going to come a time where they can actually intersect, and you're going to find that in our case study. So keep that in mind. They they the man-made and a natural disaster can actually intersect. But we're going to get more into that. We'll cover more of that down the line. Uh, think about it like this. Security risk threat equals likelihood times vulnerability times impact. Okay. Now, that sounds good in theory. So you think about the likelihood of the risk. You think about the vulnerability of your organization. And you think about the impact. So you're taking all three of those into consideration when you look at the, the, the threat, looking at the risk you're dealing with. Okay. So... Keep those in mind. They're not complicated terms. They're not anything that's going to be confusing to you. Everything is going to be straightforward. Uh, you're going to look at a risk model in this course. Uh, we got, we got a, there's a, this is a delineation of specific factors that influence one or more of the components for the risk of each threat. Models are important. Models can give you a baseline foundation and it can give you a frame of reference on where you work for. So if you want to create a model of what your risk would be, say, for an active shooter. You can create all the scenarios that you want to work with. You can create what the risk is, how you can mitigate the risk, and work through those processes right there. The, pro the understanding of limiting uh, the risk is important. Uh, there, there, there are extreme scenarios that are not always particular involved with your mitigation strategy. So there, those are the variables in the equation. You could have something that it's kind of like what you're predicting or kind of like what you're working for, working for as far as that risk management piece, but it's not going to be exactly. But I'm a firm believer. Why reinvent the wheel? Take what you've got so far and start molding it and crafting it. Because when we do risk assessments for the military and for other jobs that I work in, it's a, it's a growing, it's evolving, it's a, what we call a working document. So it's going to constantly change and you got to be able to ready for that. Uh, for example, a, a vehicle-borne explosive device a few feet from an office building is going to cause a lot of issues. Uh, but an effective risk strategy for that may be able to what you can do. You can create the standoff for that. You can create the distance for that. You can move it out and everything else. You've got to assess that risk. You've got to feel, that, feel it out. Because think about it like this. Okay, this, this God forbid, this explosive device uh, as compared to an urban center, an urban area, or out into a country. You obviously out in the country or out in a suburban area, you've got a lot more distance you can work with as compared to uh, downtown of a major metropolitan city. So you got to keep that in mind too. Those are all variables in the equation when you're developing your risk model. You've got to look at those from multiple standpoints. It's not overly complicated and it's pretty straightforward. Um, I want you to read the, the textbook. Uh, I want you to go through some of the textbooks. I want you to look at the, um, the videos. Uh, start looking at some of the things because everything we do is looking about for, for prevention and looking for about mitigation because we can do our best to prevent an incident. But once the incident occurs, how can we mitigate the effects of that incident? At the end of the day, if we can mitigate and prevent, you're golden, your bosses love you, and everybody's happy. All right? Get started, guys. Let's do this. We're going to have a good time. I'll see you on the next module.